Hey everybody, Tony D and Little Joan here with Screenwriter's Rant on F... <laughs> F... F9. The Fast and the Furious um, has a ninth movie. A ninth movie, Joan. Are you... Here. Let's, let's go to sleep. You take a nap. You're cranky. Um, yeah, I'm not a huge Fast and Furious guy. I've kind of vaguely followed it. I've never actually seen a whole movie. I've seen clips. Uh, you know, this is more Vin Diesel and Mary's one of the characters and has a kid and he's retired and so he's coming to retirement. I, I don't know what he actually did. Was he a criminal? Was he a spy? What, uh, I, I don't know. I thought he was just a street racer in the first movie, but... Whatever, you know, Paul Walker, unfortunately, is dead, and they're still making these movies, and uh, so this is this is the deal. Like, he comes out of retirement, and all his friends are invited to go, I don't know, up into a mountain and perform some stunts, I guess. And then they meet John Cena, who turns out, spoiler alert, to be his brother, and he's evil. I guess, because he has hair. Um, so, there's more stunts. <laughs> and uh, Ludacris tells us that John Cena is like a thief slash assassin slash guy who could really drive a car. Because everything in the Fast and the Furious movies have to somehow revolve around cars. Like, so the stunts or whatever. So uh, the stunts are, are very crazy. Here's a here's a stunt, which I guess is obviously CGI, where like a car hits another car that he's standing on and sends him flying, but he somehow lives. And then there's a fight scene with some bad guys. And it, it's sort of no different than the sort of bad guy movies you used to see, except everybody's super cool. Like, that's the deal. Like, you have to be, like, super cool and have cool clothes and a cool car. And there's just action to beat the band. But I have no idea what's going on, other than John Cena is very, very angry. Um, so, uh, Helen Mirren's in it for some reason. I, I guess she, I'm going to guess what is she play uh, somebody's mother. And uh, uh, here they are at a party, a posh party, where they point guns at each other and then there's more fighting and more fighting and going out of windows and then uh there's a there's a car with a rocket strapped to it it's all it's all action-packed and here's another ridiculous scene where like things happen uh, here like they jump off a cliff and uh there's like a magnet car that saves the car but then you know, they're chasing after it, so he, like, somehow hooks the car into a cable <laughs> and swings the car around, I guess, survives somehow. I, I, I don't know. It's a, it's, a, it's a Fast and Furious 9, everybody. Fast and Furious. And this guy comes back, who I guess was from one of the previous movies that I missed. So I guess he, he, was, he was the Tokyo Drift guy, maybe? Is that who he was? I don't know. I don't know. I guess they'll keep making these movies as long as they make money. As long as they could pull out famous enough people to be in them. Uh, I'm sort of waiting for this entire franchise to just disintegrate into like the, the, the cannonball run movie, you know, where it'll all be a big joke and every, every celebrity will have a car and they'll all, drive to the end and it'll be all sorts of wacky antics. That's what it kind of feels like now. Kind of feels like Cannonball Run, only it's way too serious and the stunts are a little crazier. But other than that, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, it, it's, it is what it is. It, it, it's closer to a wrestling movie than a, than a, than an actual movie. I mean, yeah, it's got a story, but it's really, it's really just a story to hang the stunts on, right? You know, it's about fast cars. I mean, look, I'm not disparaging it, but 
it's it's different from a, a movie. It's more of a spectacle, right? You know, it would be I I've always said that the ultimate movie for America would be Kaboom the movie. And it would just be you know, buildings exploding. You know, 2 hours of like really cool explosions with almost no story to connect them. <laughs> and that's what kind of this is. <laughs> Only there's some hot chicks in the mix and some, some semblance of a story if you don't think too hard. And, you know, and again, if you celebrate this, it's fun, it's cartoon, and I respect cartoons. I like cartoons. It's just not my particular cartoon. It doesn't it doesn't it doesn't hit the notes for me. Because it's it's not quite ridiculous enough that it's funny, it's a little it takes itself a little too serious for me. But I I don't disparage anybody who would watch this movie and celebrate this catalog as a friend of mine was fond of saying. But uh, yeah, first act is uh, Dom's retired and oh his life's great. He's got. A kid and he lives on a farm and and he misses the life but he loves his new life like I guess and then you know he's called out of retirement by some mysterious person or for some reason and uh, you know it's all a big setup to get him to come out then act two is his brother and they have to fight his brother and uh it's it's very nasty and he gets captured and has to escape and then they have to you know they they realize his evil plan they have to go back and somehow stop it and that's where you get the big giant armored car and uh you know and in the end uh everybody wins <laughs> everybody in the fast and the furious crew wins maybe one person dies and then uh you know, John Cena, I assume, becomes a good guy in, like, the next movie. That's been, like, the pattern, right? It's like the, the, the guy who's after him in the previous movie it becomes the good guy or becomes part of their team, right? So John Cena will join Fast and Furious in the next movie, and then it'll be, be some other, other ex-wrestler who, you know, maybe Mankind or Hulk Hogan will be, uh, or both. That would be cool. Hulk Hogan as a villain would be cool. Brother, I'm going to kill you, brother. <laughs> and since he's older, he could be like their uncle. Like their evil uncle. Yeah. Fast and Furious. I know. I'm making fun of it. But uh, yeah, it is what it is. You got to have a sense of humor about these things. Because Fast and Furious doesn't really.